Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be repotting this massive Chinese evergreen. This is the Agla Onima Silver Bay variety. As you can see from all of those stems, this is um, a nice mature plant. Just a little backstory on the plant. A client of my father's actually gave it to him. Um, it was this client's, it was actually his mother's plant. She had it for a very long time. As you can see, they did keep it indoors. She came elderly. Um, so she couldn't care for it anymore. And then my dad brought it to me. And so now I'm gonna separate it and share some with my dad. I'm gonna keep some, and then I'm going to share with a couple other people as well. So if you like to see how I'm able to repot this massive plant, please stick around. I think I'm gonna have to do this in sections as far as this video goes, because as you can see, this is just really, really big. Um. I have taken off some top stems that were on um, or the top bouquet, I call it, but I've taken the top portion off of some stems that were damaged. I have those propagating in water and then I've also had pieces of stems that I have cut into sections that I'm going to propagate um, in the soil. I'll probably show you uh, how to propagate those in a separate video, but for right now, let's just get into getting this repotted. I have cleared a space on my kitchen floor, as you can see. I have tons of soil over here, perlite, orchid bark, and I'm just gonna get down on the floor and um, yeah, try to get this thing repotted, so. All right, as you can see, I have the entire plant out of the pot. This is the pot. This pot is really big. The branches, rather the roots, were starting to grow up under here so yeah that's empty this is plastic this didn't have any drainage and so now i am going to get into the roots and get it separated the roots are not as big or maybe as long as i thought but they are very thick in places so i have gloves fingers crossed for me that nothing comes crawling out of here but like i said they kept it inside so maybe i'll be a little bit better for <laughs> not getting the creepy crawlies as if it was outside so i'm gonna go ahead and get this separated and i'll come back and show you okay so as you can see here i'm just taking my hand in there and gently breaking up the soil the roots are very healthy this one had actually grown into the pot uh, where i showed you you can see some fresh new sprouts here i've already been able to get these pieces off this one does not have a um have any leaves on it but you can see it's rooted so I'm gonna propagate this, and see if I get that to re-sprout. And then I have some little separated sections there. So yeah, that's all I'm really doing um, is gently breaking it apart, loosening up the soil so I can see where it naturally wants to break apart. And then that's where I'm separated from. If I get to a very thick root that I can't hand separate, then I do have a knife um, where I will cut it to section it off. So I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll be back when I have all of the pieces separated. All right, so as you can see, I have everything separated. Um, I'll put in some close-up shots for you so you can see the roots. This is all the soil. The soil is actually really healthy soil. Um, I haven't seen any creepy crawlies or anything in there. Um, it's nice and draining, so I may reuse some of that, but I do have some nice rooted sections here. And then I have these um, buckets here. I have these containers, and so I am going to get them separated into there, and I'll come back and show you once I have it all put together. I do have some fresh soil and stuff over there, so I'm gonna see, because I don't wanna waste this soil because it is really healthy. Um, so we will see, but I will let you come back and take a look once I have them in the pots. I'm gonna separate them into bunches. Um, some of the stems are long and curvier than others, so that's just, um, something I want to separate and kind of style together the way I like it. It's something to think about when you're potting plants, like how it's actually going to look inside the pot. So I'm going to do that and I will come back. All right, so here we go. A couple hours later, uh, I have everything separated, repotted, fresh soil. So I was coming down the list to show you what I had. I was able to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pots from that one massive plant. These right here are the two that I'm gonna keep. Um, they were allowed to just trail, see there's like curves and kinks 
in um, the stems. So what I'm going to do is purchase some stakes and I'm going to um, put the stakes in there so that they can stand more straight up instead of um, leaning over how they have been. You can see there is some yellowing present. I want to let them set into their new pots before I um, trim any leaves I feel like need trimming or to um, give them any water. These pots ended up being uh, deeper than what was needed. That's why the soil line where is where it is, but it's definitely enough soil in there uh, for to sustain the plant. The pot that it was in was really deep, as you saw, and I didn't know how deep the roots actually were, and it turns out the roots weren't really that deep, so I could have went with a more shallow pot, but this is fine. And um, I, you can see I took propagated some stems and just laid them, um, laid them, what is that, horizontally um, in the top of the soil to see if they propagate and push out any sprouts. I was gonna do them in a separate container, but I figure, all right guys, hold on. I figure why not just put them in there and see what happens. So this is the end result. Like I said, these are the two I'll be keeping and I am going to stake them so that they can stand up. But they are, as you can see, these leaves are really nice and big and healthy. So this one right here, I'm actually gifting to someone. Uh, she's new to plants. I'm going to let her know that if she doesn't like the branch, that she can cut it there and stick it down in the soil um, to propagate it and it'll grow its own roots. So I'm going to let her know, uh, you know, that she can do that and depending on how she wants to keep it. This little guy here in front, that's what I did. Um, I took it off his stem and I stuck it straight down into the soil. And I really like the look of that. I was tempted to do that with all of them, but I kind of like the funky trunk. So um, at least for right now, I'm going to leave them and, um, and see how they do. <coughs> Some of the stems, excuse me. Uh, dried out and so they fell off uh, when I still had it in the one big pot so we'll see what these do once they perk up and get over the shock of being repotted but um, if I'm not liking how it looks I will do them all like this and let them regrow their own stem again you can see I put a little stem piece here in the pot just to see if it'll propagate but I really really like this and then step back here, you see we have these three large ones. This one right here is going to be going to my dad. Um, and these are the metal rods the previous owner had it staked with. So I just staked his up for him. Um, that's how I'm gonna do mine to get that height. So um, that one right there is gonna be going to my dad. And then these two are gonna be going to my mother. I staked one of them. This one didn't really need it because it doesn't have much stem. Um, as you can see, they were much shorter pieces, so that actually worked out well. I left room in there where she can add more soil because I don't want these to get uh, too heavy. She has to move them over to her house, and so she has room to add more soil um, once she gets them in place and where she wants them to be. And so, yeah, there is everything that I was able to separate and break down from that one massive um, Chinese evergreen plants. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.